You know, just when I think people can't get any more stupid, they always surprise me. You guys remember George Floyd who was killed at the knee of a Minneapolis police officer? Well, now the Dems have solved the problem of systemic racism. Yeah, their pitch is to defund the police in Minneapolis. And there might be some Democrats in other cities who are taking on this idea as well. Moronic fuckery is what we call it. Let's get into it. Stop treating us like animals and thugs and start treating us with some respect. That's what we're here today to say. We've been left out of the conversation. We've been vilified. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Trying to make us embarrassed of our profession. 375 million interactions. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive. Nobody talks about all the police officers that were killed in the last week in the United States of America, and there were a number of them. We don't condone Minneapolis. We roundly reject what he did as disgusting. It's disgusting. It's not what we do. It's not what police officers do. Defunding the police. This has to be the best idea in modern U.S. history defunding the police. How does that work? What what happens when you defund the police? You know, this idea that we're operating under, this belief that police are inherently racist, the system of police is corrupt, there's racism against Americans, Black Americans in particular, all throughout the justice system, because, well, you know, they go to jail for committing crimes. They put themselves in situations that unfortunately, inevitably, sometimes result in someone dying at the hands of police. No, the problem lies with police. It's not the individual's fault. It's not the individual's fault they committed a crime. It's not their fault they got caught. It's not their fault they chose to resist arrest. It's not their fault that they chose to be defiant. It's not their fault that they put themselves in a position to maximize their chances of either going to prison by not only committing a crime, but increase their chances of dying at the hands of a police officer if they choose to resist arrest or be violent, volatile, defiant, go for the gun. You know, a lot of the justifiable causes that ultimately lead to someone losing their life in an interaction with a police officer. No, this, these are not the issues. It's the system, it's police officers. Do you guys know that human nature is plagued with selfish desire? You know, humans commit crimes because we have a corrupt nature, a selfish desire to want to please ourselves, to survive, to try to attain things that we may not have no other means of attaining other than breaking the law. Yeah, that's what police are for. That, that's why we have police officers. You see, we have a justice system. We have laws and lawmakers, and we have individuals who uphold that justice system. That That's police. Those, those are the guys we call police officers. They uphold the justice system. And by opting to defund the police, we have concluded that police are the problem. We forget about the fact that there were 375 million interactions, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive. 375 million interactions between civilians and police last year. We forget about the fact that only 245 black Americans died at the hand of police, only nine being unarmed. We forget about the fact that 399 white Americans died at the hand of police, only 19 being unarmed. 375 million interactions. And police are the problem. So what happens when we defund the police? You guys remember George Zimmerman, right? The guy who got into a tussle with Trayvon Martin, killed him because Trayvon went for his gun, so he shot him. You guys remember that guy? 
vigilante. Remember that outrage America had because of what happened when a civilian tried to take the law into their own hands because he didn't wait for the police officers to come to the scene? He decided he was going to do it himself. Or or how about Ahmaud Arbery? You guys remember Ahmaud Arbery? The, the young man who was allegedly jogging back in February and an ex-police officer and his son, Gregory and Travis McMichael, pulled up on him and decided to take matters into their own hands as well instead of calling active police. Remember what happened to Ahmaud Arbery? And you guys really believe that putting the law into the hands of civilians is going to solve the problem? You guys really believe that civilians are going to be better equipped, more adept, more competent at upholding the law? This is moronic fuckery. This is absolutely absurd. This is an asinine idea to eliminate or defund the police department. Why? Because we're operating under this illusory perception that there's an epidemic of police brutality when there indeed is not. We're trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. And what happens when you try to solve a problem that doesn't exist? You create more problems. I want you guys to take a look at this list right here. You guys see this list? These are the most dangerous cities in America. As you guys may know, a lot of these areas are predominantly black, predominantly Hispanic. A lot of these cities are really, really high in violent crime and homicide rates compared to the national average. Some as high as five times the national average. What happens in these neighborhoods when we defund police? You guys think homicide rates are gonna decrease? You guys think violent crime rates are going to decrease? Hmm. It's interesting. What about the fact that we still have to deal with criminals? The fact that we still have to deal with criminals is an issue. Because just because we eliminate the police, it doesn't mean the crime is going to stop. You see, even if we eliminate police, crime will continue to happen. And crime happens at the rate they happen at with police. So what happens when we defund the police, when we get rid of the police department? What becomes of these communities who are already crime ridden, homicidal hell holes? Defund the police. You know, it's so interesting. We hear a lot of conspiracy theories about the purge, how the government wanted to wipe out black people. What do you guys think is gonna happen when we get rid of police? And who do you think will be on the receiving end of most of the violent crime? Which demographic do you believe will be eliminated the most? The whites? Nope. Hispanics? Nope. Asians? Nah. Jews? Uh-uh. The demographic who already commits the highest violent crime against their own. The demographic who takes more lives of their own than any other demographic black Americans. You see, it's easy for Democrats to push to defund the police. It's easy for people in high positions of power to push through with that. They can get protection. They can, they can afford personal protection. The average American can't afford personal protection. And the average black American, damn sure, can't afford personal protection. It's moronic fuckery. It's a stupid idea. It's the dumbest idea that America has probably had in recent years. You guys wanted a real purge? We might be on the brink of it. You guys see what happened in Minneapolis and in other large major cities all across the nation? Riots, looting, people getting hurt, people dying. Humans need law and order. We need structure. Otherwise, we all behave like animals. So what do you think will happen when we take away the authorities? How much justice do you think will be served then? No cases get solved. No crimes are stopped. No criminals are deterred. This imbecilic attempt to turn our country into a utopia is gonna quickly result in a dystopian nightmare. 
moronic fuckery. Over and out.